pretty simple one to explain. It's not complicated at all. We're, we have been pretty much, uh, you know, staying at, at training like a 1500 uh, girl for a while with Aaliyah and the rest of our 800 crew. And, and uh, of course, she ran a pretty good mile in high school. So we're, we're going to get into that lactate zone a little bit today. And we haven't done that yet this, this uh, indoor season and stayed away from it. But we're going to do two by six. And we'll take 10 minutes rest. And the first one, you know, try to make sure she stays at a good place, maybe just a little bit below what she would run under at a, at a prelim type race. And then the second one will drop down and pretty much max out on that one. So the first one will load her up a little bit, the second one will really get to her. So then we'll we'll shake out with a few 150s uh, and then we'll run a couple fast 150s at the end of it. So that'll be it. We'll do two sets of three and then one set of two at the end of it just to kind of get them a little bit of volume. But uh, not a hard one. It's, uh, this is one that I did back when I was here in the 70s. It's been passed down many generations, and so I don't like to use it a lot. We'll do it probably two times a year, but uh, this is about the time of the year that I, I usually hit them with it, so we're ready. Well, Coach Hart was training me back in those days, and uh, you know, it was we were on the track a lot. Back in those 70s, you know, we, we lived on the track. And, so I just remember this workout hurt. <laughs> you know, it was painful because there's no two ways about it. You know, that's all I remember about it. My memory banks are a little cloudy from all the time that I felt felt this workout, but it's still a good one. I just want to see her, you know, finish strong in the second one. You know, I don't really know what that's going to be today. I really don't. I know what I think it might be, but you don't. You just don't know. We've never done it before. I think it's probably one of the most dreaded workouts for a half miler, but they know that second one's gonna, gonna hurt pretty good. So, stopping down to more speed stuff is what I kinda like doing, so I'm kinda excited for it. He says that I should run pretty fast, and I think I can. All right, keep it steady now, keep it steady. 61, 62, right on it, keep it steady now. Finish it up, but stay smooth, stay smooth. That's good. See if they can come back and do a second one. <laughs> well, we haven't really done a lot of speed workouts, but I knew once we had like full recovery, I was like, I could probably do it. We've done 600s before earlier in the season, but this is the first time we had a, we could spike up in it, so I was like, okay, I could go fast. So just got to control it and I'll be good. Here we go. Three, two, one. Personally, that we were always trying to live on that edge of lactate and you know that threshold place, and so I, that's the majority of the training that I do is with them. But as you know, half milers need to get into it a little bit and experience it and being able to buffer it, and push it back. And so that's what we're trying to do today is just get into that and where that, that very uncomfortable feeling, and you got to be able to finish it and then still come back and do a little bit of work afterward. Good job, good job, Gabby. Hold on to him, girl. Here we go. Stay relaxed now. Let's go. 42, 43, 44. You're good, Gabby. You got a good one going. You got to keep it tight. Let's go. Let's go, JP. I really wanted to have the first 600 controlled because sometimes when you run the first one too fast, you'll have a lot of lactic, and then like the second one's not that fast. So I wanted to make sure the first one's controlled, and then the second one just once I hit the first 400 split, I was just like, just go. I mean, this is literally what you have to do in these races. You just got to go out and just wanted to hold the pace and finish strong. Let's go, Les. Good job, Ali. There you go. Stay relaxed. Right, let's go, Allison. 58, 59, 60. You're fine, Gabby. Finish it, girl. Let's go get your eyes up and look at her. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, JP. Let's go. Finish it, Aaliyah.
129, good job. 133, 34. Woo, that was pretty solid. 120, 129. I think she's ready to run. <laughs> That's a pretty good finish. I don't even want to put anything on her. <laughs> I don't. That's just, you know, it's just, a, she's, a, she's a special talent. So I just gotta just have fun. You know, freshman year, you just wanna, you know, keep everything in perspective. You know, it's a long season, you know, just too long indoor and outdoor and just keep everything. We wanna be consistent. That's that's her biggest goal this year is to be consistent. and. To race well, you know she she still needs to learn how to race a little bit. You know, evidence in the big in the world championship race last year. You know, she got herself in a little trouble, and and she knows now that you know the 800 is you have to think a little bit in that race. And so she's she's studying it, and she's uh, she really wants to learn about r tactics in the 800, which I think is great. You know, she just so we're trying to learn how to race different ways right now. You know, be able to race from the front, race off the back. And she has a nice ability to be able to finish races, so she can sit back and finish, but now she's learning how to go out and front run too. So that's that's what I said. You need to have both of those in your you know your arsenal. So she's learned how to do that. Six hundreds were good. I was pretty happy with that, pretty pleased with my time. Well fifties, I mean, just to get the legs all a little fresh out from the lactic. So pretty solid workout. I'll give it like eight, nine. I would say perfect. That was pretty <laughs> that's pretty out there. <laughs>